like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. Today's episode features some scenes humans shouldn't have seen, but we're fortunate enough to see. The humongous fungus, the boiling river in Peru, and the Alaska cave are top on our list. Also, watch out for our best pick at number three, and please don't move a muscle. Elephant's Foot No one was supposed to witness Chernobyl, but unfortunately, it happened to us. It remains one of the most infamous incidents in human history. The reactor explosion effects are still felt even after many years. The explosion is known for many reasons. One of them is the elephant's foot. This is the name given to a solid mass made of melted nuclear fuel mixed with concrete, sand, and core sealing material. It's likened to an elephant because of its wrinkled appearance. It's one of the most dangerous substances on the planet and is located in the area that was once the basement of reactor number four. This place is so radioactive that no human can survive there for over 500 seconds. Aoki Gahara Forest, Japan There are many beautiful places across the world today, but there are areas you should never visit. Japan's Okigahara Forest is one place that has gained negative publicity over the years, and this wouldn't change anytime soon. The forest is located in the shadow of Mount Fuji and is so dense that it was named the Sea of Trees. The compasses don't work here because the quantity of iron in the volcanic soil makes them useless. It's also unusually quiet despite the number of trees there. We can't rule out the existence of paranormal activity because many people have claimed to meet some unexplained creatures there. Humongous Fungus You might have learned in your basic science class that the blue whale is the largest living animal in the world. While this is true for animals, this animal isn't the largest living thing. Our world is full of surprises, and the humongous fungus is one of them. This mushroom covers a whopping 2,385 acres and is found in Malheur National Park in Oregon. It's also the oldest living thing on the planet, as it's between 2,400 to 8,650 years old. Door to Hell, Turkmenistan People who have heard stories about the door to hell are forced to ask if it's human-made or natural. Whatever side of the divide you're on, you might be right. The truth is that it's both natural and artificial. Also called the Darvaza gas crater, it's believed to have been created when a team of researchers from the Soviet Union were searching for gas. When they saw the hole, they feared it might emit toxic fumes. Therefore, they set it ablaze. Although this was done in the 1970s, it continues to burn. The fire doesn't seem to be receding, and it may not go out soon. Tourists are warned not to get too close to it, avoiding hurting themselves or dying. Area 51 Area 51 is supposed to be famous for the research done there, but there's some spooky undertone to it. This station is located in the deserts of Nevada. Although it's famous, few people know what's happening there. Reports say the base has been a test facility since the 50s. Since there's zero transparency and the details aren't open, there's speculation that it has something to do with aliens and UFOs. The guards don't want tourists close to the place, confirming the suspicion that something otherworldly could be happening there. As a result, many extraterrestrial-themed attractions have popped up in the area. Blood Falls, Antarctica if you didn't research the blood falls in Antarctica, you'd probably think there are aliens in the area snuffing the life out of people and throwing their bodies in the river. There are many explanations for the ruby red water in Antarctica, but we'll go for the most acceptable one. This water flows from the Taylor Glacier. Its blood red coloring comes from oxidized iron and brine salt water. When the iron bearing salt water mixes with oxygen, it oxidizes and takes on a red color. Therefore, the water flowing from the glacier looks like blood. You would need some convincing to believe otherwise. The Donakil Depression, Ethiopia It's more difficult to live in some places than others. You would wonder how people survive in extreme weather or economic conditions. Humans are built to adapt to extremes easily, provided it doesn't kill instantly. Ethiopia's Donakil Depression is one of the most terrible places in the world to live. It's the driest, hottest, and lowest place you can think of. 
The area suffers from the emission of poisonous gases, simmering hot springs, and crackling lava lakes. While all that goes on here, no human deserves to live or experience such hardship. Monolith of Allura, Australia If there's one country that hides deep secrets from scientists, it has to be Australia. Regardless of how researchers reveal truths about the country, we can't get enough of it. This beautiful island country boasts different kinds of wildlife, slang, and customs that outsiders find bizarre. Aluru or Ayers Rock is a sacred monolith that has puzzled visitors for centuries. The shock comes from the fact that it's a single rock. In 2019, visitors were banned from climbing it because indigenous people wanted to ensure their culture was respected. The Boiling River, Peru Nobody stations a gas cooker near a river to prank visitors and make them believe something extraordinary happens there. The mythical boiling river in the Amazon would amaze you for many reasons. This water body is located in a secluded spot in the jungle and reaches up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, although there's no volcano in the area. Due to this anomaly, there's ongoing research in the area to uncover the reason behind the weird occurrence. Researchers have concluded that the temperature is caused by a fault-led hydrothermal feature that forces temperatures to skyrocket. Socotra Island, Yemen It's no news that deserted and isolated areas are the perfect spot for unusual life. It therefore doesn't come as a shock to see Socotra Island on the list of places humans were not supposed to see. While we hail Australia for harboring some of the most unexplainable creatures on the planet, we should not forget Socotra Island, because it's equally absurd. This island is located east of the Horn of Africa and plays host to lots of flora and fauna. Modernizing the island is almost impossible, thanks to the negative effects this has on the landscape. Because of its uniqueness, it was named a World Heritage Site. Surtsey Island, Iceland Iceland Surtsey Island is worthy of mention here, and you'll find out why. The area was formed by a series of volcanic eruptions that occurred between 1963 to 1967. It's been a protected area for a long time, making it one of the most unspoiled places on Earth. Scientists began studying the island in 1964. Since then, they've seen the arrival of seeds carried by ocean currents and the appearance of mold, fungi, and bacteria. In 1965, the first vascular plant appeared there, with 10 species by the end of the first decade. Queen Elizabeth II Bedroom This story would be one of the most interesting you'll learn today. If you've ever visited the UK, you might have seen or heard residents talk about the Queen. She's treated like a god and protected by one of the most well-trained guards in the world. Despite being equipped and well-trained to do their job, they've made silly mistakes. In 1982, Michael Fagan, a mentally deranged man, entered the Queen's bedroom and sat on her bed. While one of the guards had seen him climb the fence the night before, he and his team had searched the compound and couldn't find him. He spoke with the Queen for 12 minutes before the police intervened. Who would have thought anyone could access Queen Elizabeth's room so easily? And to our best pick. This image was probably posted on the internet by mistake. If this isn't the case, why has the government not debunked some of the theories it fueled? Alien Technology Governments worldwide think they have to keep secrets they can't divulge to any random person. This unneeded secrecy leads citizens to cook up theories and counter-theories. Organizations are paid to create space programs in these countries, and the details are often concealed from the public. When this picture was released on the internet, it confirmed the fears of skeptics that something was happening underground without their knowledge. This alien technology could work for the government to achieve an unknown aim. Red Beach The Red Beach, like the Blood Falls in Antarctica, is a real phenomenon. It's located in the world's biggest wetland marsh. The proliferation of suede seaweed caused its bright red color. The seaweed is dull green during summer, but is vivid red during fall. To add more aesthetics to this, the Red Beach is home to some endangered species of crane and is a popular spot for tourists. Much of this strange beach is off-limits, but some parts are available for visitors. 
Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Lascaux Caves, France. Socotra Island opposed building an airport because residents considered the effects it would have on plants and animals. While visiting a tourist attraction, it would be nice to consider the effect of your actions on your natural habitat. The Lascaux Cave hosts a gallery of cave paintings believed to be 17,300 years old. A group of boys in 1940 discovered it. It was open to tourists shortly after, but the authorities noticed that visitors' body heat, breath, and moisture threatened to destroy the artworks. In 1963, it was closed to visitors, but they were allowed to see a replica. Until next time, adios.